So the next bit that I want to go over is really brief, and it's really just how to actually learn from these sorts of courses in case you're not really familiar with them. So majority of courses like this online, and uh, mine as well, we don't really like continually hammer content, right? So if you're in a traditional classroom, they might lecture, and they might go over things again and again. But online, like we don't need to do that because you can pause, you can rewind, you can go back and watch it again later, right? So we don't need to do that. Uh, the thing is, though, that allows us to keep it shorter, which is good, but also we expect that you're actually going to like do it, right? Because by just watching and listening, you're not going to probably remember it very well, but if you follow along and you do it with us, then that's where you're going to start to actually like build memories and create some learning and whatnot. So don't just watch me type new document or whatever and uh, put in some code about, you know, whatever, doesn't really matter what, um, but actually do it with me so that way you will, you know, start to build those memories too and you'll interact with it. So interacting with the content is what will help you actually retain it and be able to do it later, right? So, and you know, if you don't have any ideas right now, like that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter really what you're making with it as long as you're making something that allows you to interact with the content in the videos.